Mura tanda kan? In a remote village in the middle of Samburu County, the silence is pierced by songs, plays, and chuckles of children of Suyan Early Childhood Development Education School. The children are happy to be in school, as it is here where they can meet with their friends, learn, play, and have a meal, sometimes the only meal they will have in a day. Months before they resumed their learning, that is before schools were closed indefinitely, after the first case of COVID-19 was reported in the country in March 2020, their teacher, Tiabaldo Emase, always showed up at school, where he happens to be the only teacher. They were just about to conclude the first term, but everything was stopped abruptly and indefinitely. At least na kuna changamoto wakati tulipofungua maana unakuta ile mali tulikuwa tumevika wakati kabla hatujaenda wamesahau at least wamesahau wengine wao mmoja mmoja wanakumbuka lakini high percentage wamesahau sasa inabidi tena kasi yenye utarudia unaanza kutoka si upya maana sasa ile kitu tulikuwa mafunza hawatashika hawaelewi tena sasa mpaka tena wase upya ndio at least muweze kupiki kwa kwetu kulingana na lifestyle yenye tuko ama environment hakuna masomo alikuwa anaendelea kasi yao walikuwa tunakushunga kuna kasi hakuna nyumbani ndio alikuwa tu anakaa kushunga na kuwasaidia wazazi wao hakuna kitu alikuwa anasoma sababu hakuna online wanasoma hakuna kitu wanafanya so walikuwa tu anakaa that's why hata wamesahau kila kitu the closure of schools for the better part of 2020 had an impact in the enrollment of children hapo awali namba ilikuwa kubwa sasa ilikuwa tena sa handle lakini sasa namba ikiwa kidogo at least hiyo peko bande yangu ni changamoto maana kwa wanafunzi wamekuwa wachache and there are hurdles that Emase has to jump over or dodge daily before arriving in school. Ile shangamoto kubwa tena hapa mambo na insecurity. Hiyo ndio jambo kubwa sana hapa. Maana yake sasa mimi siishi hapa naishi mahali mengine. Lakini sasa uenda ikawa saa nyingine mambo ni security kio hapa hata kupitia barabara. Huwa na risk tu. Naamua tu kwenda tu kiviangu tu nasema tu niende Mungu atani Linda. At Suyan ECDE, the children here are lucky. They receive a meal a day courtesy of the county government of Samburu. One of their parents has been hired to cook the food. Emasi says some of the children came here on empty stomachs, but they will live with what can turn out to be the only meal they will have for the day. The supply of foodstuffs in the school feeding program however is not a guarantee. Pia environment yao huwa inaenda kama chakula kuna chakula shule wanakuja. Lakini kama hakuna chakula sio rais wote waje. Maana kuna ndio kuna wale wadogo unajua they are still innocent. They know nothing. Sasa inabidi saa nyingine tu wakiona kuna chakula shule wanakuja. Lakini kama hakuna chakula at least inakuwa ngumu sana. Ndio watakuja lakini watakuja wachache sana. Toa sauti. Hundreds of miles away from Samburu, we are at Kona Maziwa ECDE in Kajiado County. The narrative here is similar and different at the same time. <laughs> the grounds the children are using as a school has been given to them by Hope Restoration Church. If the church hadn't provided space for the ECDE, these children would have been forced to walk for more than 10 kilometers to the nearest school. Temperatures here can rise up to 40 degrees Celsius, making this acacia tree very valuable. Wote waezi kuwa wanaingia kwa kanisa wote. Waezi soma. 
Someone will get us out of our wood. It's a bid for end of shift. It's a UV in a chico or cut. It's a robot in end of shift. While I'm on a toga, we're going to be here. I can now learn a guy in the cabisa. With no desks, the children have to use their laps when it is time to write. Like Emase in Suyan ACDE, Mopenai also noticed that his pupils were not up to par from where they had left after schools were closed in 2020. <laughs> Kwa <laughs> For the better part of 2020, when children were at home, Mapenai tried to reach out to some parents to allow him to teach their children. Unlike Suyan ACDE in Samburu County, the school feeding program was stopped in Kajiado. This has affected the concentration span of the children. Proper nutrition is key for the growth and overall development of any child. It is now past 1 p.m. The children should have gone for a break and have their lunch, but there is nothing to eat since the school feeding program was stopped abruptly. The situation here is different compared to their counterparts in Samburu County who are still on a school feeding program. Nutrition helps in the holistic growth of children. If a child lacks a balanced diet or enough uh, uh, food in a day, it reduces the concentration of that child in, in the classroom. Most of the schools which are not offering the feeding program to learners uh, cannot offer best to their, to their children. The government should try and introduce free feeding programs in all the schools which were highly affected and this one will ensure or it will enhance uh, proper growth or increase of enrollment in those schools. And of course that is likely to influence their undernutrition um, th th taking place because they are not getting the, the, the meals. But again, it also depends on what type of food was being offered or are they accessing. Because you can access food which is full of proteins. At home you are getting full of proteins, still you are not helping. But if they are able to get, for example, a balanced food like porridge which has, which has all the nutrients that is required, then they will be able to perform better. Mapenai attends to three different classes. The pre-primary one and two are taught under the acacia tree, while grade one pupils remain inside the church. All right, teacher Sylvia says, touch your head, touch your head. 
Bridges School in Kiambu County is a private school. To remind us, what have we been doing or what was our lesson all about? Infrastructure in this learning institution is admirable. Here, learning shifted online almost immediately when schools were closed indefinitely in March 2020. Let us describe the curve. Mm -hmm. Who wants to try? Who wants to try? The children in pre-primary 1 and 2 were engaged throughout the period. Some of their counterparts were at home. For them, the wheel of education continued to spin. Travelers in the highway? Oh, I don't think so. No. No, it is not. So let's open the next page and see. When the schools were closed during the COVID period, uh, most learners could not afford the online classes because it is costly to them. And we have counted the penguins and we have done some work on our books. When government and all the other agencies related to education started thinking of how they can support learning to continue, they quickly thought of secondary school and primary. Pre-primary schools were left behind. Um, and the, and, and, and um, I remember the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development started TV programs for primary and secondary. And later they had one lesson a week. For one lesson, I think, a week for pre-primary school children to learn. But remember, majority of the parents and majority of the learners do not have gadgets that will enable them to learn virtually in terms of maybe TV or radio or a computer or a mobile, a smartphone that can help them do that. Most learners who are not, who are not participating in the online classes uh, really lost much because uh, some of the learners who are in the same class were participating in the online classes. So when schools or when learning resumed, they were not starting at the same level. So it gave teachers difficult time to ensure uniformity in each and every class. And uh, most early childhood learners uh, have a short concentration span. If they stay at home for long without being taught, they tend to forget about any other thing which they were taught in the past. So teachers really found it difficult to ensure there is total concentration, there is uniformity, or there is total realignment to the classroom environment immediately from home. Right now I can say uh, most of these learners are really trying to adjust themselves, and uh, the only problem we are trying to get with the current education calendar is because the term dates have been shortened. So for the teachers to have enough time to cover the syllabus is hectic, it's going to be hectic. So teachers must now create extra time to ensure that the syllabus is covered. But all was not lost for children who couldn't afford to participate in online learning. When schools reopened, teachers went back to teach from where they left. And this gave the learners an opportunity to, 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 to gain. But as you can guess, and your guess is as, 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 as mine, that children who had an opportunity to engage online learning are likely to perform uh, better. The National Chair of Kenya Union of Pre-Primary Education Teachers says the early childhood sector has been hit hard by the pandemic. Children from uh, disadvantaged family have also been highly affected. Their parents have lost their livelihoods and most of them have dropped out of schools. Be good boys and girls. Be good time managers. When the parents uh, lost uh, their jobs, uh, affording school fees, especially in private institutions, has become a problem. Kabla of Corona, when I saw them, they were almost two. Corona, 
So at least while we are coming, we are released. We are coming to school. I think that's how we are going to see the sun. So we are It has affected the socialization of learners. They are not free to interact with one another because of the social distancing. And there are children who lost a parent or guardian to COVID-19. The children have a difficult time interacting with their peers. There is also fear and discrimination of learners from the uh, families who lost their parents. And most of the kids do not want to associate with them because of uh, discrimination. The ripple effect of COVID-19 to the ECDE sector continues to be felt. Most of the early childhood teachers have also been affected because some of the schools were closed down. The schools were turned into shops or shopping centers and the teachers who used to work in those schools uh, are now jobless. Tomorrow I want you to rest, spend some time at home with your families and your parents and help out. And then... A study conducted by Africa Early Childhood Network on children under five and COVID-19 termed the age group as a neglected population. In its recommendations, the Kenyan government is advised to improve the physical caregiving environments as well as ensure more resources and devolved funds are invested in ECDE to address some of the fundamental issues facing young children and their families. Sharon Baranga, TV 47. Yeah, my coffee.